in Dragon Ball Super Episode 56, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black formed the powerful Keyblade from his wrist and stabbed it through Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta's chest and as a result, brutally defeated Vegeta. This is only the second time in Dragon Ball Super someone has defeated Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, of course excluding the godly characters like Whis. It is very certain that Black currently is way stronger than Goku. The fight will perhaps continue in episode 57, but I think it is quite clear that Black will take the victory. Because we see even base form Black, after taking a few hits, was able to keep up with Vegeta, and even landed a kick on SSB Vegeta. This highlights just how powerful he has become. Also, after the fight, he mentions he got even stronger now after fighting Vegeta, thanks to his power and fighting style absorbing abilities. We know the power of SSB Vegeta and Goku is almost similar, however, advantages of Goku would be he has fought Black once and also saw SSR Black fighting against Vegeta, so he can come with a better plan and also he has that Kaioken over SSB card that for Vegeta didn't have. However, SSR Black would be strong enough to at least survive against SSB Kaioken, but then Goku's body would drain all energies contrary to Black absorbing all the power of Kaioken SSB. So if Goku thinks it true, he will not use that move. Irrelevant of who wins, we all can agree that Super Saiyan Rose is immensely powerful and probably even close to the level of Beerus. Now, the last time we saw him back at main timeline's art, he was just keeping up with SSG2 Goku. So the real complex question that is bothering the Dragon Ball community is how did Black Goku get so strong in such a short amount of time? and how did he achieve the shockingly powerful Super Saiyan Rose form. We don't have any official source regarding this as of yet, so in this video I will highlight 5 Super Saiyan Rose theories trying to decode the mystery behind his power and his origin. But the main reason I made this video is because I want theories and predictions from you all. So comment it down below, I'll surely take. Theory number 1. Dragon Balls. Among all the actions and chaos, we have forgotten one of the main factors of Dragon Ball universe. Yeah, the Dragon Balls. In each and every arc of Super, Dragon Balls have been used and it played some really major roles. In the first arc, it was used to know about the Super Saiyan God. In Frieza arc, it was used to resurrect Frieza. Then in Universal Tournament, it was all about the Super Dragon Balls. So, following that cycle, it is only obvious they will do the same in this very arc too. Now, according to this theory, Zamasu traveled to the future, got hold of the Namekian Dragon Ball, or somehow with his wisdom, managed to collect the Super Dragon Balls. Then, he made a wish resurrecting Goku as his pet and connected to his mind or something similar to that. If he used Super Dragon Balls, he might have even made him a true god. Then, as the Masuski got evil, he even influenced Goku with it, resulting in him becoming black, resulting in achieving abilities like improving and gaining opponent's fighting style. As he has links with Zamasu, the they probably found ways to get stronger. Another possibility could be they used the Dragon Balls in between the time Black fought Goku at Earth and the latest encounter. Zamasu as well as Black has knowledge of other planets, so it is possible that he fought some other opponents meanwhile, or Zamasu gave him some more special training. In short, Dragon Balls might have influence behind his origin and powers. Theory number 2 Time Traveling Advantage Everyone's astonished by how much Black improved in such a short time. But what if we all are wrong? What if we got much more time than it appears? He is wearing a time ring and that green earring. He was wearing that even before chasing future trunks to the past. Meaning, he has been time traveling for a while now. 
So what if he actually traveled way into the future or to the past and trained himself for a much longer period of time and possibly encountering other versions of these characters over and over again. Maybe they traveled around the universes and fought other fighters like Hitman Head. Since he knows Zamasu, he probably got all types of helps in doing this and thus got stronger than Super Saiyan Blue. Theory number 3 Black Goku gets all of the opponent's abilities and memories. In main timeline's art, Black Goku fought Super Saiyan 2 Goku. So generally the fans thought Black must have absorbed Goku's power and fighting style only up to the SSG2 form. But just after he returned back to the future, he said the power of Son Goku is slowly growing in him. So according to this theory, so according to this theory, he accessed Super Saiyan God form powers and even up to the prime Super Saiyan Blue into Kaioken. But since he is a true god unlike Goku, he was able to get control over the Kaioken into SSB form. The theory is linked to the next theory. Theory number 4. Gawasu is Goku Black. According to this theory, Zama <clears throat> according to this theory, Zamasu somehow either managed to convince Gawasu to join him or propose him or something like that. The bottom line is Gawasu is using the body of Goku Black. After fighting Goku and Trunks, he was able to attend their key and fighting style. But unlike them, he is a true god. So he was able to tap in the god key far better than Goku ever could. This theory is further backed up by statements Black made in episode 56. He said he has reached a level no mortal could ever reach, proving he is a god. Connect this to theory number 3 and that could make sense. Theory number 5 The Creation of Goku Black We know the Kaioshins are basically the gods of creation. They create all the mortals. So the theory is the Masu after getting his ass swooped by Goku either with or without Gawasu traveled way back in time and started the process of creating counter Goku with necessary modifications. Goku is the strongest among the mortals or at least that's the peak of power they observe. And creating mortal is under this authority. Zamasu went back in time and created Goku Black and thus got enough time to train him as per their requirements. Then they traveled to different parts of the timeline and made Goku Black fight different versions of Goku as well as other strong fighters. However, this theory is quite weak, there are not many sources to back it up with. Anyways guys, what do you think about it? How did Goku Black achieve the Super Saiyan Rose form? Comment your opinion down below. And please vote on this poll. Do you think Goku Black is Gawasu? The link is on the description below. Facebook group name Dragon Ball Super Bracket All. See you in the next video.